Today we are going to be talking about Newton's second law. The net force acting on an object is proportional to the rate of change of momentum and it's acting in the same direction. Mathematically we can write the same statement as F is equal to delta P divided by delta T, i.e. the rate of change of linear momentum. Remember, linear momentum is equal to mass times velocity. So this is actually the change in mass times velocity divided by delta T. Now, if we suppose that M is equal to a constant, so the mass in your system is equal to a constant, which is quite a lot of situations really, then what we can do is take this M outside of the rate of change. And what we get is that uh, the net force F is going to equal to M times the rate of change of velocity, uh, which is actually the acceleration. So this is equal to MA, which is uh, the usual equation that we're familiar with from our GCSEs on Newton's second law. However, this is only true if the mass is equal to a constant. Other than that, we're going to be using the fact that the net force is proportional to the rate of change of linear momentum and it's acting in the same direction. Okay, folks, uh, hopefully Newton's uh, second law makes sense now and how we get to uh, the equation F is equal to MA, assuming that mass is equal to a constant. If there are any questions, please feel free to drop a comment down below and thank you very much for watching.